we haven't done a video lately on cleaning up rusty gas tanks because I just had to take a break. So let's look in here at this one. It's actually relatively clean. This stuff right here, right there in the middle, that looks pretty loose. So I think if this would focus, I think all that's gonna come off pretty good. We need to give this thing a quick rinse and then uh, I gotta go get apple cider, I mean vinegar. I'm going to get white vinegar and we can start as always got this peacock on the bottom it's a junk peacock but it lines up and I have a piece of rubber between so it doesn't leak uh, looks pretty solid all around so this should be a good candidate looks like we have some black sparkly paint in there <laughs> remember what that is guys all right so uh, I'm gonna there is, this was red at one point. I knew that. We got red side covers. It's red underneath. So anyway, time to get this thing cleaned up. I think a lot of this is just going to come off pretty easily. Since when has a gallon of vinegar tripled in price? I'm not happy with that, but uh, let's get it in the tank. All right, guys, I almost forgot this step. So, Got a little bit of a little bit of loosey goosey stuff in there. So what we're gonna do? Drop a chain down in. The only thing I don't like about this is because we still have the fuel level sensor in there, but we're just gonna be careful. We're not gonna rip it around too much. So we're gonna drop this in and then put some water in. If you can avoid putting water in your tanks, oh, there's a piece of something on there if you can avoid putting water in your tanks great but sometimes it just kind of needs to be done so all right work that down in put some water in it wait do i have two chains that's just the other end okay and then we put some water in it shake it all around and then we'll put in the acid all right shook it around with water a bunch oh we don't have the uh the light on there is our chain and all this i just pulled the chain out so we definitely stirred up a bunch of crap so now i'm going to flush this out with some water i did take the plug off the bottom so the water can go down the bottom again don't have the light here let me turn that on there we go Whew. we got a lot of rough stuff taken off you can see that's already starting to fresh rust because we did introduce water. It's bound to happen. So yeah, there's our chain. There's stuff that was coming out. I was dumping water out the bottom. So <clears throat> go ahead and flush this. All this crap, all that stuff just coming out of there. So we could flush this a bunch and then Put a good fuel filter on and probably run it it's not terrible but we're going to go an extra step here so we don't have a lot of loose stuff in there we were just knocking free what was in there so i'll plug it back up after i've rinsed it a bit and then we'll go ahead and add the uh vinegar she is resealed with the rubber and the old peacock there's no filter on that, so I can just put it on level and uh, screw it down. We're just going to fill it up with white vinegar, let it sit for a couple days. If I don't forget about it. So here's your first glance. That's what we got. We'll fill it up. It's not going to take super long. This isn't a bad tank. It's actually pretty decent. So there you go. First look. We'll go for a second look. All right, I propped it up a little bit so that I got her filled up to the brim and we'll let her do her work. And then we're probably gonna save this because I don't like to waste anything. So I got three full, four full gallons of vinegar in there. And then I spilled a little bit, but I got about a, well, it's about a half. 
So four, I spilled a little bit, came out when I hit the top here. So it was at least four gallons, four and a half almost. So see how she does. Wow, check this out. This has been sitting for almost a week and uh, I think it did its job. We have rust like gathering on top of this sucker. So that's pretty cool. It means it's expelling it. So uh, we'll wipe that off and uh, let's get this stuff out of there. Oh man, all of that just wiped right off. So beauty, I bet the rest of the inside is just as nice. Unfortunately, I can't just wipe it off so we'll have to rinse it real good. So yeah, spout looked great. All right, we've been sitting for well over a week and a half. And I showed you just before, this stuff collected in a day because I came and wiped this out before. So interesting how it's, the rust is actually coming out of the hole and collecting on our spout. So we're gonna dump it out through there anyway and put it in here because we are gonna save what we can of the vinegar and uh, let's see how this tank looks now. We had three pretty clean bottles of uh, gallons of the vinegar coming out. And now we're at the bottom of it. And you're getting the stuff that's sitting on the bottom and the grossness. Now the tank looks pretty good inside. We'll get a good look at that. But uh, we gotta take this off in order to get this out. So this is what you got inside on the bottom. Everything's settled out. So. We'll take this off so I can drain more out and uh, show you what we got. Here's the money shot. This is all the junk that came out of the bottom. All that crap was resting in there. But if we look in the tank, we got pretty nice uh, looking tank in there. I didn't think she was that bad. But now you see what she was. So now we got to throw baking soda in there. If you add water, then you gotta dry it real good because you will have flash rust. Uh, it's hard to say. I always have flash rust and I don't like it because I don't usually put these back into service right away. They're for parts. But anyway, this is what we got. She's in pretty good shape. And uh, that's what can happen when you use white vinegar. Since I don't want to use water, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put, oh, we're already getting flash rust. See that? That's what happens right away. Yep, it's already happening. So, let's get some uh, baking soda in there. I'll stop the uh, acid from doing what it was doing. Just gonna throw some of that in there so I can shake it around. start to fizz, do its thing. And then I'm just gonna use acetone and try and avoid putting water in here. I feel like that's a good way to go. I've heard paint thinner also works. It's kind of what this is. But uh, I'm just gonna put this in. Oh, I already got it on my tank. So uh, I guess I'm gonna a little bit of water and then uh, shake this acetone all around hopefully you can avoid some uh, flash rust and get this thing neutralized and happy all right I did not use any water and uh, the acetone is in there yet it's gonna try and knock out what I can but what I'm gonna do now is throw some heat inside see if we can dry up the acetone because it should dry faster than water. Acetone should actually pull the water out. There's a lot in there yet. All right, I'm gonna try and get all that out of there. And then uh, hopefully it's all dry and we can avoid tons of flash rust. All right, got a dryer set up on high. We'll let her do her thing. Dry out that tank. All right, well, I guess I'm done with this. I did heat it up for a little while 
and we still got our flash rust, but it really doesn't look that bad. Whoever gets this can go ahead and do their own thing to it. It's a pretty solid tank. And uh, yeah, we'll put it up for sale. So I'll just go around here and clean this up a little bit because that is just flash rust. Look, it's coming off on my finger. So it'd be nice to present it in a good way. So that's definitely how we do a tank. If you just, there's nothing floating around in there now. And uh, yeah, we'll get this thing listed. It is a uh, 82 XJ6750 tank. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.